and I think it's it's also you know Christ's life and his words are always instructive and it's mm-hmm. a good reminder for us that oftentimes we find rest in not in in getting rid of our burdens but in sharing them and in 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 working through them with others and 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 helping others to do that and allowing others to help us uh to overcome those obstacles and 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 sort of plow through those that constant barrage of tasks we have by by being willing to do it together, not not just with Christ, but with the people around us, um, we can become more Christ-like. Oh, I agree. Actually, President Nelson in just October 2022 gave a wonderful talk on rest. I mean, that yeah. was his whole point, was overcoming the world to find rest. And his words kind of reflect some of the things that we've already said, but it also made me kind of reflect upon my own life in terms of how much am I relying on the Lord to help me through my burdens? I think all too often we think, okay, I've got to do this on my own, you know, grit our teeth and just struggle through it. And the main thing that, you know, President Nelson is saying is that we also need to bring the Lord into every part of these struggles. And he says, the reward for keeping covenants with God is heavenly power. So as we have these covenants and we bring the Lord into our lives, we have this power that strengthens us to withstand our trials, temptations, and heartaches better. This power eases our way. Those who live the higher laws of Jesus Christ have access to his higher power. Thus, covenant keepers are entitled to a special kind of rest that comes to them through covenantal relationship with God. Despite the distractions and distortions that swirl around us, you can find true rest, meaning relief and peace, even amid your vexing problems. As we strive to live the higher laws of Jesus Christ, our hearts and our very natures begin to change. The Savior lifts us above the pole of this fallen world by blessing us with greater charity, humility, generosity, kindness, self-discipline, peace, and rest. So I wanted to ask you, how has the covenants that you have in your life brought you peace and rest? Well, I think that the covenants that we make, which are such beautiful ones, they're an effort to live the gospel in our